I'm making this video in portions just because of the complexity of the situation. Uh, but I wanted to show you, I got my Ruflosa. I understand that's how you pronounce this, Ruflosa. That's how I'm told. And it's my rear shock. It is replacing my uh, KKE. Uh, I purchased these uh, new KKE forks um, about a year ago. And when I put the front forks on, uh, I had my Fast Ace rear shock on. And soon after putting the, the new forks on, my rear shock uh, broke or lost all compression rebound dampening. And so it was like sitting on a spring. It was just unusable. So I had to buy a new uh, new rear shock. So this is the Fast Ace BDA53RC. Man, this is a heavy, heavy, solid uh, shock uh, for the Suron. And it's like throw it at somebody and you end up killing them. And it's like, bitch, get back. Wah, bam, boom. But, okay, enough acting. So I put on, uh, I bought these forks. They're really cool. They're bronze, gold color. Uh, and I was like, man, why don't I buy the KKE 2024 shock to match the front forks? If the front forks are as good as these are, then the rear shock's got to be as good. So I bought it, $250, came with three different spring rates. Very cool for $250, a $650 rate uh, rear spring, a $550, and a $450. So springs are like $40 to $50 each. So I have three different spring rates. Uh, that came with it and so I put that on there and it's not nearly as good as the front forks it does not it does not have nearly enough rebound dampening which makes it dangerous to ride long story short so I just recently in the last week placed the order for the Reflosa rear shock I don't need the front fork the front fork supposed to be really really good for a, a budget-minded fork uh, versus a $1,200 fork or a $1,500 fork it's I think 600 and then an 800 or $900 version with some really cool triple clamps. But so I needed the shock. And so here it is. It's very cool. It's a little bit more compact, not quite as heavy, but still uh, very high quality as far as a budget shock, uh, shock absorber goes. It's got uh, high speed, low speed compression dampening, and then it has rebound on it. So Hopefully, it has way more uh, rebound dampening than the KKE 2024 High Performance Heavy Duty Shock does to match these forks, because that's the whole reason that I had to buy this. So uh, my Fast Ace, you know, compared to the Fast Ace, obviously they're, they're similar. It's got a rebound uh, on, on the back, just like this one does, but it has the compression up here on the top, and it's just compression. So this has compression, high speed, low speed, and, and then getting this is the rebound. And there's a cool little little something on the a bottom that looks like it's a button, but it's 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 not. It doesn't, but it's a lot uh, cooler. And what I wanted to share with you, which uh, was pretty neat. I mean, it comes in a pretty neat box, and um, they're made in China, of course. Uh, I think they have a distributor here in the United States. So when you place an order, I went straight to the Reflosa website. And bought it directly and I saved tax or I saved shipping and shipping is probably 20 25 20 dollars and so they don't charge shipping so if you pay the 259 and I don't think maybe I don't think I paid tax of so just 259 so I saved shipping tax just like I did on my KKE forks that I ordered directly from KKE uh, pretty good deal and so you open it up and it's got some really cool padding and obviously it's well taken care of but also, too, I just wanted to share this with you. I thought this was kind of cool. I just I just saw this. It comes with a, a guarantee and, and a checklist. It looks like someone filled that out. And, and they go through all, all the test examples and make sure it's checked off and, and everything. Uh, this is cool, like a little guarantee of a, a product factory inspection report. So they tested the shock and it all tested out. Never seen that before out of my three shocks. That I got so that's in there and then you get your owner's manual I'm gonna read that tonight uh, but yeah so I, I will show you I'll have all three shocks out and we can put all three shocks together and take a look at them but uh, 
just wanted to uh, show this is probably someone is going to find this informative and helpful. This one's about maybe a pound heavier, a pound less. And this is a 550 spring, 550 pound spring. So it's going to be harder to compress. And this is a 450 uh, spring on this fast ace. 400 or a 450. And I have a 550 on my KKE uh, shock that's on the rear of this bike right now. And it's definitely with my 200 pound body, I definitely need a 550 pound spring versus a 400 or 450. It really makes it stand up a little bit taller and it doesn't wallow through the bumps. And uh, for someone that's a little bit heavier, 550 pound spring. I think the 650 would be way, way over. And maybe that's part of the problem is the KKE rear shock is a valve for that 450 pound spring. And even though they give you a 650 and a 550, the, it's, you know, it's, it's harder to compress and bounces back faster. So the rebound, you need to have the, the shock revalved uh, for when you go up in a heavier spring rate. So you just can't typically use the same valving for you know drastically different springs i mean you actually have to tune that i would love to be able to send this in and get the rebound fixed whatever's broken with it because it looks brand new uh and and you just have that as a backup or sell it you know cheap for 300 dollars, 250 dollars. i don't know uh but it's still in great shape looks brand new other than the rebound being blown out of it all right, as usual, I will uh, get this installed. Oh, what a mess. Also got some really cool stuff coming. A new big 72-volt battery, uh, EBMX, and some other stuff. Said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm leaking it right now. I'm, I'm putting a big battery in this. But, yep, yeah, I'm going to get this installed before that comes. Put that on there, and then I'll give you an update on what i think about it and if it has more rebound and if i think it was worth it this was 259 dollars so that's a pretty good deal uh on this and i'm hearing really good reports that this is really good uh rear shock and the uh the front forks that they make that uh reflosa are really good too so uh, i'm excited to put this on there and let you know what i think